Hello everyone and welcome to the World Series of Commander. I'm your host, Christopher Lawrenson, also known as Discord as Wait Wait, Don't Kill Me. So, it's finally happened. Season 2, it's over, a new victor has emerged, the crown has passed, the belt has been refitted, Jake, also known as Elemental Whisper on our Discord, is the new Supreme Commander. I don't know if that's what we're calling it yet, by the way. It's just kind of the name I'm rolling with. If they don't like it, they can fix it in post. Jake, how does it feel to be, first of all, the new you know the new Supreme Commander and undefeated? It's it's awesome. You know, I, I had a bunch of fun. Um, I really didn't expect it to end up that way, but you know, it it just it, it turned out really well. Um, the 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 deck just kind of came together, so it was it was a lot of fun. Has so twenty two and zero has that like that is to me that's what stands out. Has has that sunk in yet uh i mean a little bit a, a lot of people mentioned it to me um even uh timmy changed my name in uh in his discord <laughs> to like sweeps 22 and 0 <laughs> it's gotta like, feel kind of good God. i'm not gonna lie like that's yeah, oh, that yeah, is absolutely. that is an impressive impressive victory were there were there ever any close calls um so definitely the uh the one game in the finals um with uh um fallout mind uh you know it, it it turned out to be a close game there it was like it was basically my turn or his turn uh in in one of the games and then um uh the first game of the playoffs uh, i was playing against a lathral deck and uh the lathral deck pre presented lethal on board and i was able to clamor together a combo before uh before I got um, my face eaten off, but, but um, yeah, those those were two very close games. Almost ruined it right um, out of the gate. Oh yeah, right. I was like, oh man. So, so before you put your sweet by. sweet touches on the deck, it almost alters right. you. Right, and and there was one more. There was one with uh, with uh, oh, what's his Discord name? Um, Anthony's Discord name is Lord Apollo. Just Anthony. Oh, Lord Apollo. Yes, um, he had a turn where he put like, I think it was like twelve or fourteen permanents onto the board, and uh, just was like this shy of comboing off, and then I uh, I had the combo for next turn. So it, it was kind of like a you know all the other two two or three times that that it was really close. Are Are you worried at all about like having painted maybe like a target on your back or anything being being twenty two and zero? <laughs> I so. I was telling my wife that because because uh, obviously we got we got married in the in the middle of the tournament so congratulations like kind of almost thank you thank you we almost uh, you know we put put things on the back burner um, and uh, y'all were I'm grateful for y'all being flexible on that but yeah um, so I, I I was telling her I'm like you know I'm coming back I haven't lost a game yet and, and Phil was the other one that hadn't lost a game yet and so. I definitely I'm I'm pretty sure there's a target on my back. So now I'm I'm sure there is. <laughs> so you will like, be coming uh, back. Who's gonna be the first? <laughs> so, so you will be coming back then next season to to defend. Absolutely, absolutely. I'm I'm super excited about next season. Um I'm I am eagerly awaiting the announcement for the uh the date. Alright, well I've got your commander act pulled up here on the screen, uh Aisi, Tyrant of Gyre Strait. Why don't you uh, Why don't you tell me why you Why you chose that commander? You're gonna laugh. Um, so this was not chosen by any strategic means. Um, I I came into Firefly one day, and this was before I even considered being in in, in uh, CPCL WSOC. Um, I I was like, well, uh, do y'all have a, an arcane signet? Firefly didn't have an arcane signet, so I was like, well. <laughs> Maybe one of the new commander decks does. I can't remember, but I'm going to grab IEC because IEC seems cool. It didn't have an Arcane Signet in it. I was like, <laughs> now I've got this deck. What am I going to do with it? Oh, I can play it in CPCL. Let's do it. <laughs> wow. It's literally the thought process. Wow. So for those watching, uh, maybe maybe there is no strategy. It's all dumb luck. <laughs> no. I'm just... uh, I don't think it's that, but I mean, like, I, it, so IEC is a very strong commander because, number one, in the beginning, like, it gives you, 
consistent card draw it gives you card filtering um it turns lands that are normally dead later in the game into draw cards you know they all they all have draw card printed on them now so like whenever you draw lands you're not like oh crap i'm flooding out you know it's like okay well i can play this land and now i can draw a card and possibly draw into what i'm looking for um along with the fact that that green blue is very strong and the fact of um of uh of um, it, a budget-based format because, you know, you get all your uh, your mana dorks, so, like, you you can play, you know, land mana dork on one, and your opponent goes land pass, you're now on turn three, they're on turn one, you know, and that's that's a huge deal, so it kind of, you know, it changes the game almost a little bit, yeah. um, but go ahead, sorry. So I saw, yeah, so I saw your, I saw your list, I saw your Path of Upgrades and, uh, yeah, it was definitely a lot of week one mana dorks, and then after that, it was essentially a, a you know a, a, a bare bones combo and then tutors 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 and the tutors for your tutors tutors for your tutors to get you other tutors was seemed to be the name of the game so i think you were about to roll into that why don't you why don't you tell us about that bit yeah so uh making the deck consistent is very important even though i have all of the draw power um tutors are very potent um and so uh, I know I, I went back and I watched the semifinal game, um, and and I uh, listened to what what um, Matt had to say, and he said that uh, that I always seem to have my combo, and that was intended. Um, literally, you know, I had Eldritch Evolution, Court of Calling, uh, Our Promise to Find the Lands that I Needed. I had. Um, I had a uh, Drift of Phantasms, which was an MVP in the deck because it tutored any three drop. So it tutored Court of Calling, Eldritch Evolution, Scoot Swarm, um, and there was a few more that are escaping me right now. But it's right. So most of know, those uh, things being uh, thing uh, spells that tutor up creatures and just for our viewers, and Scoot Swarm being a token generator uh, that right. when lands come into the battlefield, you make tokens. Yep. And it t tutors it up. Uh, Retreat to Coral Hound which is huge. That is one of the big combo pieces that's in the write-up and everything. Right, so but. let's talk about that. I'll, let, me, let me pull that up for you real quick. I think I have that card here. Yep, Retreat to Coral Helm. Landfall, whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, you may choose one. Tap or untap target creature or scry one. Now I believe in your specific case, it is the first mode that matters. Uh, so, yes, it is. Um, although it's nice as a value piece because it kind of just works with the deck anyway because it makes for more card filtering until I can find my combo. But once uh, the combo is basically um, having a uh, retreat to pull hum in play, having a one mana, uh, or not one mana, they're, they're, they're creatures that tap to put a land into play, and a bounce land in hand. And basically what that does is it taps to put the bounce land into play. The bounce land is going to put itself back into hand, and the retreat to Helm will um, will untap the creature that taps to put a land into play. So you can continuously do that. And IEC lets me draw a card every time a land enters play. So I can draw my deck and find all of the other things in my deck. And the cool thing is, is normally you'd be like, well, you drew your deck. You don't have any mana to do anything. You almost have you cards. Can, What's that? And you're out of cards. Right. Don't draw. So, <laughs> exactly. Um, and IEC says may draw, which has been huge as well. Being uh, able to choose not to draw. That's very because crucial. Because I drew, my out, uh, drew myself out. Um, so whenever you have your, your deck in your hand, you have all of your lands in hand. So now you can just start putting regular lands into play. Because you can tap and put a land into play, and it's going to untap the dude. It's just not an infinite put into play. So now you can, uh, I have Lotus Cobra in the deck, and so it's pretty easy to get two or three lands out and be able to play Lotus Cobra, make my infinite mana, and then play a Blue Sun Zenith or something like that to draw right, my because now you can, you can put the land into play, untap the guy, bounce the land, like, get the Kadama well, trigger. No, it, it, you, well, well uh, you don't bounce the land at all. You just put the land into play uh, as it is. Like, you put a forest into play, and then you untap the dude, and now you have a forest to tap for mana. Oh, I see. So, so like, yeah, you, you don't need. Well, yeah, so you you yeah. could do it with the bounce land and only use the lotus cobra mana, but right. at this point you so, can also just put all of your lands into play. Right, and and so if I didn't, so I had say I had just uh, the the thing that taps to put a land into play and Iesi in play, and that's it with the retreat to coral home. So I have the combo, 
and I draw my whole deck, now I have to have mana to cast Lotus Cobra. So now I can just put a few lands into play and cast Lotus Cobra and still be able to do the combo. Lotus basically. Cobra being a card that says whenever a land enters the battlefield under your troll, by the way, you add one mana of any color to your mana yes, pool. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah, and then so what was your finisher then? You got all that mana, you've got all those cards. What do you what do you end the game with? Uh, blue Sun Zenith. Um, so Blue Sun Zenith is uh, three blue and X instant speed. Uh, target player draws X cards and then you shuffle it into your library afterwards. So um, number one, uh, you make your opponent draw a thousand cards. Uh, they don't have a thousand cards in deck, so they have to draw themselves out. When they cannot, they draw from an empty library. They lose the game. Um, and it kind of doubled as a, a mini draw spell um, in the semi. It's going to shuffle itself back in, so right, no harm, exactly. no foul. Yep, exactly. So you don't even have to try to recur it. Um, so uh, basically, you know, it uh, it uh, it shuffles itself back in, so I can use it as a value piece, and I can use it as a win con. Now, say for some reason, you know, there's there's like an impossible way to get something like a laboratory maniac which says if you would draw from an empty library you win instead of lose you know say my opponent had one that i can't interact with at all um i had a backup win con of being able to with mystic sanctuary and archaeomancer or eternal witness um i could ghostly flicker to get back my um We'll just say, for the sake of uh, simplicity, we'll have Archaeomancer and Eternal Witness in play. So um, I had Ghostly Flicker in the deck, which um, exiles up to two creatures, lands, or artifacts I control, I believe, is the other one, but creatures and lands is the most important, um, and puts them back on the battlefield immediately. Um, it's three mana instant. Mm -hmm. um, and basically what I would do is I would beast within one of their uh, one of their permanents, which uh, is a three mana instant that destroys a permanent your opponent uh, destroys a permanent on the battlefield and then its controller gets a three three beast. And then I could uh, ghostly flicker um, back up. I'm sorry. Uh, I never got to do this, so it was a little it's a little bit rusty. But um, <laughs> you have I have resculpt in the deck, which is a uh, blue and a generic instant speed. Um, exile target creature and its controller manifests the top card of their library, which is they take the top card of the library, they put it face down it's a 2-2. Two -two. Uh, they can pay its mana cost to flip it over if it's a creature. Um, so at that point, um, you ghostly flicker Eternal Witness and Archaeomancer with the infinite mana that you've generated. And they flicker, and the ghostly flicker is now in graveyard for you to get back with the Eternal Witness and Archaeomancer, or, or Eternal Witness just gets back any card when it enters the battlefield. Yep. Our cam answer gets back an instant or sorcery, and so you can get back resculpt and um, and ghostly flicker, and um, basically exile their whole library, um, which I guess doesn't interact with the lab man, but it's a cool win condition. <laughs> and it's nice I, to have a backup. Right, that's the backup. Um, like, I mean, one. Uh, one dissipate to your your win con of you know drawing their whole library a you know counter target yes. spell that's four greater and exile it instead and uh, well there that goes so it's good to have a backup yes yes that's um, that's more or less the the, the situation um, that that would probably come up more often than not yeah all right well so we've talked about then your how you've kind of gotten through that. Uh, you will be back to defend next season. Um, if anyone wants to come and ask you about, you know, like any strategy questions, you know, how to maybe like kind of do some deck building, can they get a hold of you? And if so, what's the best place to do that? Um, so Discord's probably going to be the best way to do that. They can absolutely do that. Um, uh, it's going to be Elemental Whisper, uh, no H. I, it's listed as with an H on the uh, on the WSOC Discord page, um, hashtag two three zero four. Um, you can also find me in the World Series of Commander Discord. You can also find me in the Budget Brews uh, Budget CEDH Brews Discord. Uh, those are the three places uh, that I am at most of the time. I'm also occasionally on the CEDH Nexus uh, Discord. Those are the four that I frequent. So. All right, and yeah. last but not least, are there any shout-outs you'd like to make to anybody uh, as, now that the tournament's over? 
uh, Timmy T1000. Um, he helped me a, a good bit on uh, just kind of strategizing um, and, and, you know, uh, recommendations on, I guess, the, uh, the, the kind of path I should take. You know, uh, he, he definitely helped, helped with the recommendation of making sure that my, my deck ran faster than the other decks starting out. Um, and uh, also uh, recommended that, you know, interaction is important in these types of formats. Um, which that was something I didn't get to, didn't get to, to harp on enough. But uh, put interaction decks in, in these formats. That that's that's how you uh, you keep decks for mine, or like mine from from winning the game is being able to remove the combo piece at the right time. Um, but back to shoutouts, uh, Pandatar, Michael, and all all three of my teammates. They were uh, they were a big help. You know, we uh, we we talk strategy a lot um in in our our group and uh and and y'all for putting it on you know it's it's been a great experience and uh everything's flowed so smoothly and and y'all were uh so flexible with me like at the in the middle of the the playoffs you know so it's it's just been wonderful so yeah all right well and uh you know just for everybody's reference timmy t1000 you can find him on uh so the man that helped Jake get to the the finals. You can find him on his Budget Brew CDH Discord. Um, like Jake said, you can find us on the WSOC. So Elemental Whisper with a EC taking it home, twenty two and zero. Congratulations! Cannot wait for next season. And if you'd like to chat more with us, you can always find us on social media. Find us on our Discord. Following us, liking us, subscribing, leave comments. Let us know what the comment the content is that you want to hear. And thank you for following the World Series Commander. We'll see you next time.